Farm Boy Reef here. Welcome back to another episode of The Hulk. Today we are going to do a little repair on the Reef Bot. So I got the red lights of death on it. I don't know if you when you used to play Xbox 360, if it overheated, it had the red lights. Well, on the Reef Bot, when it has the red lights, when I did my research, I fixed it once before, it's because the memory card, the SD card, is corrupted. So I talked to Reef Kinetics. I did a post. They hit me up right away about the issue. So what happened is they shipped out a bunch of uh, Reef Bots. They didn't realize the SD cards were corrupted, so they actually just sent some out to me, some extra uh, needles, syringes, and magnets. So they're all out front here in the kitchen. We're gonna grab the reef bot out of the light support system room, take it to the kitchen. We have to reprogram the card, take the reef bot apart. I'm gonna show you each process as we go, just in case this happens to you. And it's, and it's not that hard, we can do it together. So let's head into the fish room. Let's go get the reef bot, and let's get this baby all fixed up. All right, so there is the reef bot, and it's got the red lights of death going on. So we're gonna have to take the whole unit out of here, unhook all the lines, grab the power supply, take it into the kitchen, and we're gonna take the back off. So the back just looks just like this where all the pumps are, and we have to remove the SD card, put it into my laptop, reprogram it, reflash it, plug the unit back into with an ethernet cable, and load the programming, everything back on. So that is the process that we're gonna do today. So we gotta get this baby all unhooked. So I just have all my lines right here. I got them all color coded and they're purple and green. So I'm just gonna plug all those, bring the power supply and we'll head into the kitchen. All right guys, so I got everything all set up here. Got the reef brought, I got my laptop, we got the SD card. So what we have to do is we have to come around the back here and take off this part. So this is where the SD card is and all the motors. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that right now. So now we're just gonna take the back off. You just use your typical Allen key. So there used to be, because I took this off before, um, there are six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten screws. I left two for last time because it never happened again. So I found out, I wish I would have known the first time, all it is is SD card is corrupted. So a bunch of them went out corrupted and now they're sending out cards to fix them. But I wish I would have known the first time, I would have just went and bought myself a card and I wouldn't be doing this again. But this way we can all learn together how to change out these cards if you guys ever have a problem. So I just take out these two uh, two screws, so it opens up the back of what we're looking at here. So this is your motherboard here. Um, right here is where the little SD card is that we have to pull out. And there's all your pumps right there. I think those are the Kimura pumps, so the newer version, they're a lot silenced. So I'll bring you guys a little closer so you guys can see here. So you see this little card right here? That's the one we gotta pull out. So I'm just gonna power the reef bot down, pull out my card. So this little bug here, we're gonna to toss that one in the garbage because it's corrupted. And then we are gonna take, and this is the one Reef Kinetic sent down that was nice of them. So we're gonna take this one, we're gonna flash it, put all the new software on it. Then we have to plug the reef bot back into uh, right here, a network port. I don't know what part, why it does that, but it says we have to. So that is the plan. So let's go ahead. Let's put this baby into the laptop, reprogram it, slide the card back in, take this into the office because it needs a network cable. Everything in my house is wireless, of course, so you actually have to plug an Ethernet cable into it. You guys see here, it was right into the board to make it work. So let's go hop on the laptop. Let's add all the information on here and get this baby back up and running. So here we go. So let's put this into the adapter, put that in, put this right into the laptop. Now, you gotta download this program. It's called, uh, let's not import here, Valencia Etcha. So you gotta download this program. Let me see if I can move this over for you. It's right here. So you gotta download that, you Google it, you download that. So my card's in there. Now we have to select, select the program and this is uh, the 5.0 USB compress. So we click that baby. So now we have to flash the drive gonna ask me and I say yes verify so now it's starting so we're gonna let that do its thing and then after it's done so that's how simple it is we plugged it in it's flashing the card with the new program and then we're gonna take this baby into my office plug it in the uh, internet and let it do its thing and then when it's done the blue lights will turn back on the reef bot that is back up and running and then we'll reinstall it all right so Flash is complete, successful. So let's pop out the card. And now we just have to pull out the little micro card right here. Where the heck is it? And we're gonna go plug this in. 
Let's go around here. I'm going to plug this card back in, just like that. So that's done. We'll, uh, let's take the unit, let's go put it in my office, plug in the, uh, the ethernet, and see what happens. All right, so we have the, the red lights are going on here right now. Plugged it in, it's hooked up to the internet. So it's supposed to do its thing now. All right, so we had everything all plugged in. We hooked it up to the internet. It is flashing blue. That means we are back online. So if you guys ever have that problem, it's just that little card is corrupted. It isn't the end of the world, but it is a little bit of a pain to take it apart, especially if you're not really into this kind of stuff, like tech stuff, and you get nervous, you're not sure how, but hopefully this video will help you. So let's put it all back together. Let's hook it all back up, and uh, we'll see if it'll do a test. All right, so we just gotta put the back on now. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna use the same two little screws in case it ever, ever happens again, but let's cross our fingers it doesn't. So the reef bot is back into place. I'm just gonna plug it in, put the power on. This is the apex, so it's red. I have to hope everything just turns back blue again. And we should be good to go. All right, so she's flashing blue. We're back online. That means it's connected to the Wi-Fi, and we're good to go. So right now, I'm just gonna jump here. Let's go to do a test, make sure everything runs perfectly, and we're good to go. So we are good, it's green, it accepted a phosphate test. So now it's just doing its thing. It's sucking up some new RO water. It's gonna wash out all the vials. So I am very happy and it's back online. I'm looking forward to see uh, what my phosphate levels are at and my nitrates, cause that's what I use the Reebok for right now. So that wasn't too bad. Hopefully you guys learned something there. It's pretty easy to do. If you guys ever have a problem with it like I did, you can hit them up on their technical support. They'll tell you what programs to download how to do it, how to flash your drive like I did. So it is on its way and it's gonna be performing this test. Right for our hands. So hopefully you guys learned a little something today on the reef bot, that's how you fix it. If you ever get the red lights of death, I call it, you just have to flash that drive, get a new card put in there because it's corrupted and you're good to go. So now we're gonna end up seeing what my uh, phosphate tests are because I usually don't do things very manually anymore and uh, hopefully they're doing all right. So thanks for tuning this week, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys can hit that little like button down below and you give it a uh, subscribe to the channel, it'll be even better. So please subscribe and hit that like button.